Hi everyone, uh, this is Vaibhav and I'm the founder of I Am Skills. I will be your coach today in this orientation class for the content writing. A very good afternoon to Bhaskar, Ishika, Neha, Sakshi, Sanchita, Sangeeta, Roy, Shiva, Shri, Shubha, Muman, Riya. I guess Riya, your mic is not connected. Shiva, if you can help her. Guys, I'm just writing hi to all in the chat box. Uh, kindly confirm that you are able to hear my voice. The screen is clear to everybody. And uh, we are recording this class so that we can upload it at our YouTube channel so that future references you guys can go ahead and see if you want. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and quickly create the agenda for the class today. In this orientation class, I'm going to help you guys understand that how exactly content writing as an industry works. What are the different roles and responsibilities content writers typically play? What exactly you have to do if you are going to become a content writer? Which all types of content writing things are there and how you're going to execute them based on your objectives can be a job, can be freelancing. I will also put some light that is on revenue resources which one can generate and how much time it takes. That's the most important part because one myth in the market and we are the culprit as an institute that we spread in the market that, you know, once you do a short course, you, are you have a stable career, which is absolutely not true. So I'll put some light what exactly it takes to be a good content writer, how much time it will take for you to earn your bread and butter. Then an overview of what content writing course at IIM Skills we are providing and why is that we are one of the most respected institutions and why, why is that our courses are very much recommended in the industry. And then we will go ahead and do an open Q&A so that if in case you guys have any questions, any doubts around this thing, you are most welcome to go ahead and ask me. All right. So let's begin with the session. But before I do this, I would really like to congratulate everybody who is online with me right now, like Ashwini Bhaskar, Chris Daniel, Ishika, Purseli, Sakshi, and everyone else. Okay. Why? Because if you're planning to take content as your career right now, towards or you are looking forward to go ahead and take it as your passive source of income or as your full-time career, you the, directionally you are at the right stage at this moment. Why I'm saying this, you might have observed post-pandemic lockdown, let's say after March, a lot of gossip, a lot of discussion, a lot of internet, you know, buzz around content as a channel has increased and why so? Reason being, the number of websites are increasing now. See, traditional business owners are clear about one fact. If I'm not going to take my business online, then it's clear that I have to fake rep replications in the near future. Point one. Point two, you may see TV celebrities, okay, these stars, those who are into daily soaps, they have also started their vlogs. The inside content is again video based content in it, right? Because people are now getting it very clear that digital is the future and some stakes we have to go ahead and put there. It's one of the reasons that every millisecond, if you see every millisecond, there are around four to five new websites which are going live across the world. Now a website without a content is just an empty space wherein you don't have anything, right? To add a content or something there, you need to go ahead and hire writers. These writers are you or me, okay? On the other side, they may hire an agency or a freelancer. So an opportunity for all is increasing. In fact, I wrote an article for Times of India a couple of days ago. In fact, I mentioned this particular part that I think after digital, the second most hot industry, especially which is picking up an opportunity towards work from home, work from home is that content writing or content, you know, copywriting as a skill set. So guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this from here. Uh, Let's discuss these things that how content as an industry will work will help you in terms of everything. So I'll pick a couple of objectives. I'll help you guys understand around what exactly content writing and uh, how it can be beneficial for you. And for that, I would need an active participation from everybody so that we can understand you guys better. And then accordingly, we can create, all right, for all. Now, if you actually look at it, uh, if somebody asks you what is the content writing as the as in as an industry, what exactly a content writer, uh, you know, uh, can help you with or any business or what exactly these guys do in any businesses, right? You may say a writer is someone who creates articles, blogs, or someone, right? So broadly, if you look at that's not the way industry works. Let's create this from the different point of view today for all. If I'll ask Ashwani today or Bhaskar today or Ishika, that if somebody will hire you 
for content writing profile can be a freelancing or can be uh, let's say a uh, full time agency or let's say as an employee what do you think as per your current understanding if you can all write this in the chat box what do you think they have final as an objective in their mind what if somebody is hiring a content writer they are looking forward to go ahead and get this thing accomplished so what do you guys so far think about this industry if you can just go ahead and write this in the chat box will be helpful and then i am going to create for all with some great example so that you can relate it better and then i will also talk about it how it happens and at the same time what you need to do exactly okay so to to write an engaging content as per shreyas wonderful what about others and try to keep messages all in public so that everyone can learn all right cross learning should be there what about others in the chat box guys take next 30 seconds think about to promote a brand according to umang wonderful what about others we have 20 more people online to build that trust with the audience okay again shreyas very good kristinal ishika Kiran, Neha, Purohit, Shri, Shubham, to write about our thoughts. Wonderful. Okay. What about others? Let's wait for ten more seconds. Writing blogs that engage our readers and attract brands or promote products related to those topics. Creating a relatable stories. to reach larger audience number of people through content detail through about anything we write to generate conversion wonderful shubha very close to share knowledge and experience great to make people land on our website as websites defines a company wonderful okay okay now let me create for everybody now if you look at content as a subject there are various types of writing things for an example there is articles books ebook commercial pages copywriting business listing academic writing within academic there are various types of it pr press releases writing for newspapers news channels all such things social media post infographics brochures and a lot more in fact that's part of our training 25 different types of writing but the thin line which everyone needs to understand why is that people hire content writer so there are objectives in next 10 minutes i'm going to create for everybody what are these objectives and why you guys are get you know why you guys uh, actually get those jobs to fulfill those objectives so to brief you here i'll pick one example now see there is a company called amazon amazon has a business has a clear cut objective to sell more and more everything whatever they have so let's assume they have one product by the name of iphone 11 i repeat Amazon the core business objective for Amazon is to sell to more and more people correct let's say what is the core objective for IIM skills to gain more students but that's not the way our business model works our business model is maximum number of people can give us leads means email id phone numbers at our website then a counselor can call and say that okay you join us in the demo classes and from the demo classes if people like it they will move ahead to buy the course and then we will delight them and they send more students to us that's our model in the case of amazon there is no human interaction it's you and amazon and it's just your computer so you liked it let's say iphone 11 you have searched at the internet which according to the internet database means as per the internet tools which we use within india iphone 11 as a product which is listed at amazon has a search volume of around 1.5 million okay this says out of the search volume 5 lakh people they click at seo based results which is pure content writers job rest are ads based result again copywriting job rest they don't click anywhere so 50% audience they click at paid ads half people click at non paid ads which is pure content now a website which will get business i repeat now a website which will get business the one which is at page number 1 and typically up to position number 1 to 5 will get more number of clicks here like amazon is coming here right it appears in front of us when someone writes iphone 
there we have an opportunity to go ahead and buy from Amazon because these, these guys are getting clicks. Now, the person who have created this page is a writer. All right. The more number of content creation and product rankings they have, the higher number of chances they have that they will be able to sell. Is this clear? And the minute you understand each and everything from this point of view that I need to create a content that ranks at the search engine so that the entire website gets that revenue, gets that traffic and finally go ahead and gives the company an opportunity or a good writer for Amazon. Versus the one who have created the content copy and they are at page number two, three or infinities. How many of you think that people go at page number 10 and then they buy? Able to relate everybody? No. So the point is, the more you create, so this is from the Amazon point of view. What if I'm, I'm running iron skills? So in my case, the objective is different. I'll create for everybody. All right. Sakshi says to write our knowledge and people. Okay, great. What is the cost of the content writing course? Neha, we will discuss all such things in the end. All right. So this is the way it works. Now content writer's job. Now you have learned a training program or from a training program, every type of content writing thing. Let me ask you a straight question. Do you think you will be writing ebook for Amazon? Because you have learned it, answer is no. Do you think you will go ahead and do uh, rest, of, let's say uh, rest of the stuff? No, your role will be only one thing, product researches, copywriting and content and understanding about good search engine optimization. What about social media? Then you have a different dex for it. Everybody, was it clear? Quick yes, no, maybe. Now I'll pick up your objectives quickly, okay? I'll pick up your objectives and then I'll help you guys to understand how to go ahead and meet these particular objectives while you're learning content writing. I'll create some real examples in front of you so that everyone can understand and accordingly plan their journey, whether it is with us or someone else or some other institutes. In fact, you guys should know what exactly you're doing and how will you go ahead and get your jobs? That's more important. Now, see, we all have one objective, either to go ahead and start with freelancing, either to go ahead and get our first job, or we are here to set up our own agencies, free, you know, full-time businesses. You may, in fact, have an existing business at this moment, and you're looking forward to go ahead and get your job. Or let's say you're looking forward to go ahead and current business, which is a traditional business, or you have an existing website, you're looking forward to increase the traffic at this site. So all such objectives you have in mind. So I would like to understand you guys what exactly you have in mind, then I'll pick one by one these areas like job, freelancing and businesses so that I can go ahead and help you guys understand this point that how you have to go ahead and learn and some real bottlenecks, which means if you are going to learn what are the kind of restrictions you're going to face and what is the solution to go ahead and remove those bottlenecks so that you and the objective fulfillment there is no gap in between these two things. Quick from all in the chat box, what is that one thing which you would like to go ahead and do after learning content writing? As for Ishika, it is freelancing. Wonderful. Freelancing, freelancing. Oh, wonderful. Freelancing. Shravya job. Bhaskar, freelancing. Freelancing. Too many freelancers this time. Wonderful. Job. What about others? Freelancing, freelancing. What about others? Anyone else who is still writing? Job and freelancing, both wonderful. Again, freelancing, okay. Blogging, okay, great. There's a huge supply in freelancing as per Shiraz, okay, great. So let's understand one by one, what exactly are the expectations and how one can go ahead and land. Now content writing, I'm not sure how many of you are aware about it. Content as an industry is known also as organic industry in the internet world. And this is slow. If you plant your tea and uh, that tree you're trying to organically grow, it will take around six months to a year's time finally to grow and give you fruits. Versus you give some urea or all such things to that particular plant, it will grow like anything. 
right? That's what we call the, some pesticides or chemicals, correct? Now, in the internet industry, there are two ways to grow any business. Organic is all content-based, which is genuine, authentic, but it is slow. It takes around three to six months time, depending upon various factors. This includes your website authority and a lot more, who you are, your background, your website, past behavior, domain reputation, and a lot more. All right. So it's not just that that's part of the course. Don't get confused about it. And right now I'm only talking about people who are here to go ahead and get their job. First job in the content. So we are not talking about freelancers. We are not talking about business owners. So just don't get confused. All right. People here to go ahead and get their jobs. I am creating for you guys that organic industry means content industry. It is slow industry. It takes around three to six months time to prove and there is no guarantee. So let's say today you're writing about one topic, best places to travel in India. All right. Best places to travel in India. And the objective is to capture leads. There is no guarantee that search engines will finally give or show your content at page one. And until unless it is not at page one to the most hot keyword or all right, then it is very unlikely that you will be able to capture leads. Why? Until unless you don't have people visiting to your website, how will they know you and how will they give you their phone number or email ID? Until here, clear? Quick yes, no in the chat box. Now it is slow industry. Now let's also understand the second important part from the job point of view, businesses expectations. So company like Amazon has a clear core objective, online sales, no matter what they run only because they are getting revenue. In fact, they are in losses, but still they want money. More transactions means more money. Companies like I am skills. We are running because people like you are filling up their information here and based on number of leads, which we generate. So our business model is lead generation. The more number of leads we have, we calculate that, okay, this many people can li are likely to join our training based on our past behavior or people reactions at our website. There is a company, especially if you're from West Bengal or there are companies, there are businesses, there are political parties, those who use content writing for brand building. So if you're from West Bengal, there are elections which are about to come there, right? You may see a lot of good content around all the parties, chief minister faces. Why? They hire professional writers to increase their brand awareness and they reach out to masses. There is no objective to capture a lead. There is no objective to sell anything. All they are doing is that in the mind frame of Ashwani, Bhaskar, Shreyas and everyone else, they're feeding those things that, okay, this political party is great. Similarly, when you see during the, let's say, Raksha Bandhan time, Cadbury's advertisement wherein Mr. Bachchan comes, right? Now, what exactly they do? They are developing that emotional content in your mind so that when the next day you go to that more store or big bazaar store and you see Cadbury, you feel like, okay, this is for my sister. At least one of the gifts able to relate everything. So they are not trying to sell you when they're showing you that movie or something or that particular video ad. That's again content, but a script-based video content. Inside of that, when they do it, it's just the brand reach so that people should feel trusted. Is this clear, guys? Quick yes, no, maybe. Until here, whatever projections I've created in front of you, hypothetical figures. This is this, this is that. Okay, cool. Now, I have clearly mentioned one thing that this industry is slow. On an average, a typical content writer earns around 20,000 to 30,000 rupees as their salary, depending upon your city's academic background and locations. A lot more. Companies hiring and everything. Now see the point is, this industry is pure of what you know and how much you have done in the past. In short, if you think that pursuing a course from IM Skills or any other place, there are many institutes offering these types of courses, will finally help you to land to a job, then you, my answer is no. And except me, I'm, I'm being honest and state and very authentic. Except me, everyone else will tell you that, yes, you will get your job. Why I'm saying this? Because everyone on the other side, when you speak to the people, their core role is to sell. The more number of people they're going to sell, the higher number of incentives these guys will earn. Remember, then you may actually surprise after hearing this that, Rather than why will I learn from you or anywhere else if it is like this? Now, the point is very clear. 
Now the point is very, very clear, which you need to understand. If I am supposed to hire a content writer first, when I know this industry is organic and very slow, and it takes around three to six months time to see whether someone has done something and that brings results to my website or not. So, and that can be anything. That can be email, that can be anything, all right? This is very clear, not just writing an article or a product page or anything, all right? Now, the point, the most important thing is, let's say I've hired Ishiga and she's a student of IM skills. I don't care where you come from, Harvard or IM skills. For me, results matter because I need lead generation. The work which you're doing, whether that will give me work, let's say in the February you've done something, whether in the March or May, June, I'm going to get results or not. That is the most important thing. So it's more of a trust, trust-driven industry. Now, how it works, I'll explain. A certification is the secondary part. An institute learning is again secondary. The first part is what you did when while you were learning and your portfolio. Portfolio means... Are you already writer somewhere? Have you written some work? If yes, where? They need at least five to six places where you're already writing. Let's say Quora, let's say Medium, let's say at my own blog, at IM Skills, at your own blog, which you have created. And you're writing for Times of India. You're writing for big companies. You've already published a book. And you're an author. Your profile appears in front of people when, say, someone writes this, Ishika Sharma example. Then that clearly states that, okay, she's the author of this particular book and writing and the work is visible. A good PR around you yourself is being done. That's the place when you get your job because your stats, your results are visible. People can simply see if it is score number of views you have received. If it is medium, how much content or how many contents are actually ranking and what kind of a results you're driving. There are tools for everything. And People will only hire you the moment you have great portfolio. Now, this is where I am still stand different and why people love us. So as our website says, we have a clear cut focus about this thing that you develop and write your own book and publish it in the training. You write for big opportunities, write for big blogs, not just for us. In fact, big in the market like a blog for Times of India. And then you, your profile is solid so that when you are applying for a job, people can see that, okay, Ishika is this person, have done this. She has done an internship and a letter of recommendation is also being given. And this is what she is re rewarded or awarded with. Uh, that's where you get that breakthrough. Is this clear, everyone? So those who are here to go ahead and get your job, remember one thing. One, you should have your niche and that niche should be very much clear to you from the day first. Second thing, learning about everything is very good. No doubt, you should learn. You must know how to do press release, but have you done your own PR? No, if you have not done your own PR, then you're not good at it. It is very much simple. But if you will apply for me, let's say I recently hired a person for my PR. Now this person who is doing my PR, he himself has done his own PR. He is actually there at Forbes. He is there at entrepreneurs.com and everywhere else because I need that blue tick. Simple. Getting my point? So this is the way it works for everyone. So if you have done your own PR, you can go ahead and do it for me. That's how your profile will look like. And the great part is if you are the one who can show me that what you did in the past, I have the confidence that I'm not wasting my six months and let's say 30 k as a salary which is like one lakh eighty thousand rupees on somebody who is clueless and and i'm all uh, you know all by my luck that okay let's see after six months what will happen all right everybody is this clear quick yes no maybe now the next topic i'm going to pick for everyone that is called freelancing so that okay if there is any questions around uh you know those who are here to get their jobs if you have any doubt, any questions, any concerns, you can raise this in the chat box. And if you don't, I can move. So the next point I'm going to pick up is called freelancing. Now see, I am now talking about freelancing and the second set of audiences, can you can our free WordPress blog help in terms of portfolio? No, man, not at all. Free is free. Just remember this thing. Free is free. Rest, I'll take these questions in the end. Let me create for all first these things. To all my friends out there, okay, 
first and foremost accept the fact that i am not selling you right now i'll sell in the last 10 minutes and i'll ensure that i'll declare that now i'm selling okay all these points which i'm creating for you please ensure that you are really asking me questions if you have any doubts second thing understand the why behind of everything why means if you are clear about why part of life then everything is clear then you know your destination okay the first point i picked for the people who are here to get their jobs all right and now i'm not talking about anything around job part i'm now talking about freelancing part so those who are here to get their jobs part your game is over so take a pause there all right second set of audience and i would say big chunk is freelancers so guys freelancing i personally feel is over hyped as an industry but i like it because i've been in freelancers to uh, as an industry and i in fact hire freelancers for a lot of you know uh, tasks here at i am skills but still i'll create with some uh, solid stuff so that you can relate it better so freelancing according to an industry let's understand about this thing this way that when you are a freelancer you are basically an entrepreneur or a solopreneur one person managing everything correct so you are a ceo of your own brand let's say you are ishika.com or you are umang.com you are the owner you are the one now you have to deal with your finance you are the hr you are the delivery person who will deliver the course or deliver the service or deliver the content you are the sales you are the marketing without marketing you can never expect a sale correct are you with me you are the one who will do everything for your brand in short so you are responsible for each and everything because you are the ceo in the case when it was job your dex job is clear right content that's it now what is happening in the finance hr sales you have no concerns on the first day of every month i need my salary and then every saturday let's party with me quick yes job people they have no idea around what's happening in the other department and they, all they are concerned about is that their whatever salary they pick if i am accountable for this entire brand i'm responsible from you know ev from ev each and every department point of view i'm the one who takes that ownership this is what you will be if you are a freelancer it's not that your job is over that okay i'll just get the sales you have to deliver you have to manage ratings customer reputation their satisfaction and everything big role because big money is also coming big reward big risk simple now the second question i'm going to ask you guys is that today if you get this opportunity to learn a course that is from iim skills at a price of 12900 plus taxes and uh, same offering 16 hours course 10 hours internship lecture and 110 plus hours of assignments internship and course assignments overall then there is another freelance teacher giving you an option that i'll teach you at 9900 plus taxes similar offering like i am skills as a person what is your preference will you go ahead and marketing wise i am skills is also you know appearing in front of you and this vibe of guy is also appearing in front of you what is your preference which place do you think you will go ahead and learn content writing from a portion or you will prefer i am skills shreyas bhaskar will prefer a company okay what about others in the chat box if you can write this how many of you will prefer a company how many of you will prefer an individual percentage of you have said companies okay depending upon which one i can trust more okay shreyas will also prefer a company all right good now see a research says out of 100 people 95 always trust brands five will go ahead and take the freelancers based on various reasons less cost xyz stuff okay now let me ask you as a simple question if i am hosting a demo class being a founder of this company i hate calling myself ceo but okay it's okay i am the ceo then is it a smart book that if i have to counsel one person right now wherein i'm counseling right now 25 people online which one is the best option 
ऑप्शन नंबर वन और ऑप्शन नंबर टू एज दी ब्रांड ऑनर ब्रांड फेस ऑप्शन नंबर टू राइट I have higher number of people. I have higher opportunity to sell to more, right? If they will like it. So the point is very clear that when it is about freelancing, you get out of hundred prospects, five people those who are likely to buy. When it is about a brand, you get ninety-five people who are likely to buy. Now to invite these hundred people at your website. just calculate your efforts your investment of time energy money and everything is same but in the case when you have used yourself a word called freelancer you will earn less because only five buyers are there versus you just flip the coin and you have said we are a brand you have just on the day first decided that you are iron skills you are not webhub.com so you have 95 likely to buy people every month from you where do you grow more in the industry like freelancing or in the industry like brand work brand work now let me go ahead and create the second and the most important part right now the point is is it easy to establish your brand the answer is completely no it takes your sweat blood sometimes to create something big all right and it takes years of practice doing that then how will i earn my bread and butter great question so my advice to you is that freelance for the first two years so that you earn your bread and butter how will i freelance how will i get clients how will i develop my portfolio i will how will i be able to go ahead and capture that who will hire me relax i will help you to do that in the course this class is being recorded and it goes live at our youtube channel you can take this any moment and you can see go to linkedin and talk to the people because i always tag them those who have achieved this thing we will help you to develop your profile wherein you can capture leads as the way we have captured you from the internet okay so that people can reach out to you and you can go ahead and convert them into your sales all right and the beauty of this model is even if you will get just 5 clients in a month and overall you need 20 clients in the entire journey of one year just 20 and it should be recurring you will make good amount of money i cannot point what exactly as a income you will make depending upon the capacity of that particular person who server is hiring or outsourcing you but the beauty of this b2b model is whether it is b2b from a point of view of freelancing or from a point of view of your own business that if you are converting someone let's say five clients with 10k budget in the month of feb 2021 50k is river, you know confirm revenue you have booked so march again this client would need content writing service it's not that it's just one time business all you have to do 50k is confirm revenue from the feb month and add new one so let's say 51 you have again added so it's like 1 lakh revenue the moment you are doing this just take a pause because as a person you have a limit to write you will not be able to write more than 30k to 40k just remember this thing as a word count i'm telling you because there are 250 plus writers who are working with me at this moment everyone has a potential to write maximum of 30 to 40k and if you're a super person like super human who can type like anything let's say 45 to 50000 words not beyond this is this clear but after 50k as a contract if you have paid you should have a very much straight away clear objective that i have to develop my brand and there you should plan you know plan for two years long term thing what exactly you should do you should go ahead and take two year long term plan in your mind and develop your website now let me show you an opportunity what exactly people so so as a writer as a freelance writer these will be your products these are going to be the kind of services which you will offer to your clients let's say statement of purpose is writing service article writing blog writing academic writing right this is what your client will search your focus should be that i am establishing a brand that when people write content writing agency my name should appear in front of them this is google keyword planner this helps us to identify search volume from the web that what is the market size for this particular thing all right no no basket it is per month not per day i don't even run 40 year day so now the point is uh, content writing agency my person can search or my prospect can search sop writing 
services, freelancers, article writing, or freelance content writer. Let's check just the, these three keywords. Resume writing services. All these, I mean, there are millions of keywords for you. In India, the market for content writing agencies around 1,000 search volume. SOP is again this much. Freelance content writer is good. That is 1,000 to 10,000. And there are some other, you know, uh, keywords given to us by the internet or by keyword panel. And there are a lot more resume writing services, all such things. And these are going to be your products. Just remember this thing. Your role is to go ahead and establish a brand around this thing. That when people write, your name should come in front of them. Is this clear? So this is how brand building for a particular organization works. Now the point is, once you have all the products which you have created, which are, you know, while you're doing freelancing, one by one, you were able to go ahead and rank your site within two years plan for, let's say you have 10 products or print services which you're offering under your portfolio and all are ranking and you're getting 100 leads a month organically means people are landing to your website and outsourcing you. You know what, how much business it, it will go ahead and bring to you. You cannot even imagine it will go somewhere in lakhs more than 10 plus. I know this thing because I work very closely with agencies and our courses are in fact validated by these agency owners. It is pure recurring business, right? There are companies, those who outsource you, their work profile, their work, and that comes like 5 lakh words, 10 lakh words a month, if the, depending upon the organization. Now, even if you're going to charge as an agency, just have a look at it, that how big this business can be. Wherein as a freelancer, the bottleneck is that you have a potential to write maximum 40,000 words, even if they're paying you 60 paisa to 80 paisa, which is industry standard rate. All you earn is that 30 k. Getting my point? So that is the way it's going to work, guys. Now in the program, what do we do and how are we different again? We run a course, this is for one month, wherein we devote special three months in the internship to help you in terms of achieving your objectives. For example, if you're here to go ahead and get your job, what is the primary thing do you need? Portfolio, correct? And when you're here to start with freelancing, what is the primary thing you need? Tell me, okay, freelancers, let me understand how much you guys have understood. Freelancing people, what is the primary thing you guys would need? Personal website, portfolio, okay. What about others? Okay. No, let me go ahead and create. That is called marketing. Until unless you guys will not see IM skills, do you think you will be able to go ahead and buy from us? See, my competitors are running ads like anything. They are all going mad. I still cover up 80% of the market without spending even a single rupee on the ad. How? It's all marketing. Okay. Understand that's called if you have a reach, you will be able to get more capture means leads. The more number of leads you have, higher number of chances you are going to sell to the people. Getting my point? So to do this exercise, what do we have? We have an internship wherein I'll help you to position yourself that strong that if somebody asks you, where have you worked? You have a great portfolio. They will be able to see it themselves. Like you have never interacted with iron skills before giving your details. You might have done your research and everywhere you have seen, okay, this institute is ranked one. Correct? And I'm being honest, state. Of course, we are ranked one because of our services, but the one who have ranked us, that's all marketing. And of course, we are good. We are good in terms of everything, but it's again that. So you will also be able to establish yourself like all others who did all such things in the past years with us, that positioning yourself as a freelancer and of course, with a long-term vision as a business owner or as an agency owner in the 10 years. Something promising? Quick yes, no, maybe from all. So this is how it is going to be. Now, the next thing I'm going to pick for everybody, if you have any questions, do write, you know, these questions somewhere and I'll go ahead and pick these questions in the end. Now, the next thing which I'm going to create for all is that affiliate marketing. Personally, I love this. If you are someone who is looking forward to have a great life right from here after five years, that I don't want to do anything. I want to just travel the world like every other person is doing nowadays, especially these foreign guys. They're visiting India, making vlogs. How do they earn money? That comes to everyone's mind. 
if you have such plans in mind you should actually plan for affiliate marketing but it is not easy it needs it it this industry needs a visionary a person who can do something from today and is expecting something as a result to come after 3 or 4 years onward i mean a decent result so let me go ahead and ask you guys have you heard about affiliate marketing what exactly it is you have never heard shreyas you are already doing wonderful what about others anyone who have never heard about okay great let me create first of all how many of you have seen amly in paris there was a netflix uh, uh you know uh, a tv series amly in paris had one uh, scene wherein uh, there was one brand there was one lady brand i don't remember exactly they invited all the instagram influencers to go ahead and promote now such type of activity when you have a lot of followers are known as influencer marketing that you are influencing your followers to buy something let's say a cricketer can influence their fans towards buying some jerseys and all such things correct now that's when in the case you are good with a uh, fan following the second instant is you have uh what is that okay you are a very good writer and you have one specific niche i repeat when you have a specific niche what happens is that from a brand point of view you can go ahead and sell someone's product by linking to your blog or a website you can influence your audience but in this case the intention is first to write and generate a good quality content then redirecting that user to buy all you are doing is that over a period of time you are developing one niche authority that's again technical jargon part of the course don't get confused that you are a specified or you are a special website around this thing but that website can bring a lot of traffic and money some great examples let's say when people search for best washing machines uh, in india okay now how many of you think what can be the search volume around it let me close this enough of my personal marketing great now best washing machine in india has a search volume of close to around 27100 which is the best washing machine in india is 221 22200 now this is what exactly uh is uh, you know overall is the search volume right now we have kitchenarena.com let's check a simple blog this gives you an information around all the kitchen devices and everything you read this blog simple blog best ac samsung side refrigerator review this that and all correct now let me first get pick the url let me go ahead and help you guys they are they are writing about this thing someone named v chetanya check price on amazon the moment you check price on amazon and you are redirected with the help of this url now this is affiliated url after this you question mark this entire link is affiliated so if you will buy this particular refrigerator this guy will earn a commission how much let's not get into that i'll do some calculation here second thing let's open scm rush because as per the search engine kitchen arena has a search traffic of 72000 only at this blog only at this page washing machine page i repeat this is only washing machine page okay 72000 search volume let's check for the entire website what is the per month search volume kitchen arena dot in one second traffic analytics oh wonderful you guys can have a look it's overall like 661.7k a jump of 35% in the traffic almost around 6 lakh 60000 people visits to this particular website i repeat a website that gives information around kitchen products okay now let me guy help you guys to understand what is the exact number of 
post this website has post sitemap they have around 148 overall content i repeat all they have is 148 article at their website all right is this clear guys the first article written by these guys were around 2016 and since then 2017 onwards this person is very active all right so it's been a five year journey and everything is in front of you in last five years this person has created a website wherein he has written 148 articles it's 2021 148 divided by five years 29 articles per year 29 articles divided by 12 it's like 2.4 articles a month which is like almost one article in 10 days with amazon affiliate marketing guys to everyone out there i am in this industry i've been running affiliate channels and made huge money out of it one point is that if out of 148 articles this person is driving 6.6 lakh visits every month i'll take a hypothetical figure of 1% conversion that 1% people who click at the urls here every url by the way is affiliated if i'll click at any of the url here it's affiliated they're selling services and every industry has affiliates by the way i also have affiliates who are selling my courses now these are all affiliate links every link okay now a website that has 6.6 lakh visit with a 1% conversion is like 6600 people who are buying okay i hypothetically take a number of revenue made by this person is like let's say just 2 dollars what is 2 dollar 150 rupees in short okay so a website which has around 6600 multiplied by 2 dollar per sale is like 13200 usd per month from a blog which was started years ago only about kitchen stuff inr to usd 13200 almost 10 lakhs rupees every month from a blog and this will not go anywhere this will only increase every month some meaningful calculation now what it takes to be a great affiliate marketer this industry is overhyped i there was a time if you check my previous uh, like 4 5 months ago recording at youtube channel i used to show my affiliate income people used to get goosebumps oh my god this much money but you know i have 250 plus writers working for me every day we write around 20 to 30000 words at in fact our own blog you can read all right now you need to also understand it's not just my job but in your case it is going to be a solo profile you are the only writer and if you are great you have five years vision and you are following this one article in 10 days thing expect that after 5 years you will also and i'm not saying that you will start making 10 lakh there will be a time that you will start with 10k and then 20 30 but to scale it up this much time it will take but there is nothing better than this my lovely friend why because this industry will not go anywhere and it's very easy if i'll ask you to go ahead and write about something let's say education top 10 places where you can study content writing you name i am skills become my affiliate sell for me i'll pay you you have to pick up that niche and just write only about that you can create multiple blogs and multiple sites you can go ahead and write about that is the way people make money and a lot of money was this clear guys quick yes no maybe something with some real stats meaningful and sensible stuff just showing you that oh this is what you do no 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 not like that just with some real stuff that this is what it is this is how it is being done and this is what is being required so now let's go ahead and talk a little now my sales pitch is starting i'll only talk about my sales pitch for 2 minutes not more than this promise what do we do why is that we are the most respected one all right we do a program by the name of content writing master course it's a 100% objective driven training and hands on course with a lifetime access to lifetime live classes and recordings both this course is for 4 weeks wherein 60 hours of lectures and 60 hours of practical assignment are there then 
35,000 word tool like Elementor Pro and all, we give you as part of the training. Then we have 10 hours of internship lecture. If you're interested, you can complete your course here. But this is where you achieve your objectives in the three months internship. I will be your host today, uh, you know, for this internship program as well. You will be assisted for the freelancing thing. Remember, I'm not, I'm not going to get you a client that, okay, this is the client, do his job. No, I am going to help you to become a strong free freelancer so that you can capture people and how to sell all such things. I'll train you. These are the core things we are going to do in the training. Three months guaranteed internship, lifetime support, portfolio development for your job and freelancing. You will publish your book in the training, which will be go live at the channel you will pick. You will write your first article for our platform blogs like Times of India. It's a big thing. The program costs 12,900 plus taxes and rest of the things are all history and uh, it's all there. One of the things why this program is recommended Whatever we say, we help you to do that. It's not that you're going to get a theory here about anything that do this, writers like, like this. No. Based on what you need, you're going to get in the program. This is how it is going to be. We are, in fact, listed as a recommended course. I'm not showing you that part, by the way, uh, with this reason. We are listed, in fact, that I'm, you know, uh, nokri.com. We are going to come at a top job, you know, uh, courses portal like Crux very soon. And working for, by the way, you know why I'm not showing you because there's someone have rated us so badly here. Someone have written by mistake, by the way, it's not authentic. Some puja have written one to us that I always wanted to learn a skill through this course of content writing and I've achieved that. I don't know, by the way, is this a fake review because it's an open review anyone can write. It's a fake review and uh, fake on the other side then written a good stuff and rated us one. Otherwise, according to time, you know, Nokri.com itself, as per their database, our top recruiters are big companies like Economics Times, Times of India themselves. And this is what we have been doing. Now, the last thing. Those who will take up the upcoming batch, which is starting from 14th of March, left with the seven seats, which is like every Sunday, 10 to 2, starting from 10, I'm sorry, it is 14th of March onwards. A person gets a complimentary access to lead engine WordPress theme. This is with the integrated WooCommerce, which means if you will publish your ebook, you will be able to sell it online. The payment gateway integration and all is already there. Lead engine theme is what we are also using at our IM skill site. This is the URL of this theme. This comes at a price of 6,000, but you will get that from us free. You can establish your own profile and everything using this. Everything is easily, you know, integrated in this particular theme. So this is how we are going to offer you this one. Now I'm good to take down your questions. The link which I have just now shared is valid for the last seven seats. I, re you know, repeat. This link is for seven seats. People who will buy before 5 p.m. the upcoming 14th March batch will get a complimentary access for lead engine. This is majorly used for when you're looking forward to sell something online along with your list down the services, like whatever you're looking for. It's a very compatible thing. We are also at Lead Engine. So this is what I had to offer. Now, good to take down your questions. Please go ahead and use. The first link which I've mailed is the, or I'm repeating it again. This is the payment link. The course fees is 12,900 plus 18% tax. That goes to around 15222 overall. Now, Please go ahead and ask your question, guys. Any question you have about this course, your career, or anything, I'm good to answer. Ankita, Archana, Ashwani, Bhaskar, Christina, Ishika, Lina, Palash, Priya, Purselvi, Sakshi, Sangeeta, Shreya, Shubham, Tom, Uman, Vigan, Mr. Sunny. And also, if you have any questions, great. If you do not have, just don't worry. Uh, do not forget to leave your feedback in the chat box. Can I 11th class student get a job? No. If it is freelancing, yes, no to a job. Does 12K cover for three months internship? Everything is part of it. There is no extra cost. I'm currently working as a content writer. So can I do both job and internship? Yes, you can. There is no problem. We won't stop you. Why one should take paid course when there are so many courses available for free? Absolutely right. Everything, even if you have to, you know, become a doctor, one can learn free of cost today. It's only for the mentorship, Ishika. 
in this case, I, you are going to get me. That's it. And you have no idea a mentor is required to give you that trust that whatever you're doing is right. Here you are paying this fee only for the mentorship, nothing else. And I'm available for you any moment. But Arjuna, how can it help me? Uh, so, you know, digital is growing. And if digital is growing, it is helpful for everybody from the content point of view. One such thing I would like to go ahead and tell you is that every department needs a rate writer. Without it, any department cannot grow. What are the tools that we are going to get for free? Elementor Pro, Yellow Pencil Pro, normal WordPress thing, not the lead engine one. GOT MLS, it's a security plugin. These are the things you're going to get for free. Give some details about practical training hours. Our course is 16 hours of lecture, 10 hours of internship lecture means 26 hour lectures. 160 hours we invest on the assignments in the course, 50 hours in the internship, 110 hours of assignments and plus my evaluation time. So this is what is the calculation. Lena, what's re what skills required to do the course? You should just be passionate about it. That's it. Which industry is big, digital marketing or content? Digital marketing. But without content, nothing can happen in digital marketing, Ashoka. Is the fee can be paid in installment? No, Shubham. It's one-time payment because it's a one-month one, one month course. That's why. We don't count internship as our course because we release all your certificate after the internship. In fact, we don't even emphasize on that part that we are doing this like every other organization. What they do, they count their internships hours as well. We only call our, co you know, call our course, it's a one month course as the way we have already said. Which industry I think already answered that. Can you please elaborate about placement? We will only be assisting you with the interviews part we will help you to prepare your resume. We will help you to prepare your portfolio. I'll help you to send you to that particular organization where people are hiring. In the end, if you will clear, wonderful. If you will not, again, we will send it to you. But there is only and only one thing, interview assistance. We have clearly written at our site, no placement guarantee. Do we have to pay extra for the tools? No, Sakshi. But if you will go ahead and take your paid WordPress uh, Domain name and hosting, you have to pay extra. It costs between 500 to 800 rupees for a domain name per year and hosting costs around 3000 rupees. Did you answer my question? Because I lost my connection. I did three. I'll give you the recording. In fact, I guess, Shri, there is no question from you. Just ask that question again. And if there is any specific thing, you can also connect with my colleague, Shiva. I hope you have his number. Can a student be a freelancer? Yes, student can be a freelancer. Do we need any prerequisites before uh, to start the course? There is a study guideline we share after your enrollment. There are pre-reading material. It's an ebook which we give for close to around uh, 80 some pages. There are some technical jargons which you are going to go ahead and learn. So yes, pre-reading material in the form of a learning management system will be provided to all the students. One week before the registration, I mean the batch starting date. Registration, are, as I have said, seven seats for the upcoming batch. So far, no one have registered after this orientation, but those who will do after the 5 p.m. thing, you guys are going to get complimentary before 5 p.m. thing, complimentary access, as I have mentioned. If one wants to be a freelance digital marketer, does knowledge of content writing is needed? Without content, Ishika, you cannot become a digital marketer. In content industry, the most important thing, or for digital industry, the most important thing is engagement with the people when it is about your ads, when it is about social media channels or anything. And the one who creates that engagement is the content. So the inside copy. And writers are the one who do this job. If you have digital and content, both the knowledge is available. You are the winner. Mark my words. You are the winner. And if you have no idea how to generate good content, 
then I'm sorry to say you may struggle. Difference between SEO course and content writing course, like Earth and Sky, SEO is devoted towards SEO and content writing is purely around various types of writing. In SEO course, you're not going to learn how to write a book. SEO is all about working on the SEO part for web pages. That's it. By the way, we teach depth of SEO in our training, on page, off page, in this three months internship. So I'll take down your question for the next two minutes, Ashwin. Those who have a plan, can you just say that you're looking forward? I mean, those who are planning to take it up with the upcoming batches, if you can just update so that Shiva from my team can go ahead and connect. Does you recommend taking an English language course before taking the course who is weak in English? It's always good to go ahead and get into an, an, an environment where you have more and more people who are talking to you. It will help you to develop that confidence. Shri, good if you are planning to. Can basic earning be starting from the completion of the one month course like five to 10,000 rupees? After three months, you can expect Shubham more than 10K. Uh, before that, zero, nothing. Why I'm saying this? Because no one knows you, my friend. How will you get a lead? Simple maths. Who will give you their work? Who are you? Simply ask yourself. Couple of days back, a guy came to me and said that I'm looking forward to import this item from China. This guy deals into property thing. I asked him that how and why, how come and why? It was a very simple thing, right? Then the next thing which happened between us that he said that I met a guy, he said that I'll pay, I know I'm ready to take order for 10 lakh some stuff of that particular item. It was some hair dryer. I simply asked him that, you know, this person that ask yourself, why are you, you know, why, why, why you, but why, why this person is reaching out to you, you're a property consultant and the item which he's asking you, everyone outside, you go to these markets, local markets where these Chinese or China importers are sitting, they can get in the same deal at a lower, cheaper or a better rate. Why is it targeting you? Then he calculated that particular thing that okay, it, is, it seems like that there is something called uh, fishes or fraud thing. Similarly, Shubham, nobody knows you, right? After one month, you've just done a course. There is zero marketing about you. Even if you will do your marketing on the day first, it will take two to three months time that you can go ahead and get visibility. To do this particular way, you know, exercise, it takes its own time. If you have some instant money-making thing in mind, I should say, excuse this course or any course. Then you should work on that some projects wherein you are getting some money instantly. And trust me, no one will give you answers or transparent answers or authentic answers like the way I'm giving you. Everyone will try to sell you. And there is yes for everything. Let's say if you're talking to any other institutions, people will straight away tell you, yes, 5K is like anything. Why I really don't want to go ahead and promise you something which is not possible. How often do you provide these courses? Every month we offer these courses. Whenever there is a course, you can Google it. Content writing course, you will see on the right-hand side, content writing master course dates are there at the internet. Fourth April, this will end. Then 4th, 11th of April, the next batch will begin. All right, guys. So it's time to say goodbye to all. Quick feedback in the chat box and let me end this meeting. Once again, how many of you are planning to take a 14th March batch? If yes, this is the URL. But at least let me know in the chat box so that my colleague Shiva can get in touch accordingly. 14th March batch people in the chat box, please. And do not forget to leave your feedback. And if you will enroll before five today, remember, Lead engine team is complimentary for you from our side. It's a worth for 6,000 something. You can check the cost. Thank you, Ishika. I'm glad. No problem, Shubham. I know you just landed today at IM Skill side. Take your time. Thank you, Ishika, for the feedback. Everyone else in the chat box, please, your feedback. It is really important to improve our services, to improve our orientation classes. 